Well, new at five, Pittsburgh Brewing has been in the region since 1861, but in recent years, it's actually been owned by out-of-state investors in New York. Buddy's Money Editor John Delano reports that's changing, and that could be a good thing for this area. Pittsburgh Brewing Company, best known for Iron City Beer and Icy Light, is back under local Pittsburgh ownership. So we are very excited to have a new local owner who is a businessman, born and raised and working here in Pittsburgh, Mr. Cliff Forrest. Cliff Forrest, the owner of Catanning-based Rosebud Mining, the state's third largest underground coal producer, has bought Pittsburgh Brewing from the New York investors who've owned it for the last seven years, CEO Brian Walsh tells me. Since Walsh came on board, the company has experienced a turnaround. In 2013, when I took over, we were doing 80,000 barrels, and, and this year we're north of 100, we're about 100,000 barrels. So, 20% increase. 20% increase, and uh, we're growing. Uh, we're increasing our ranks of people that we employ. Walsh says the new owner wants to grow Pittsburgh Brewing even more. We'll have a much bigger presence locally because we'll go back to uh, bringing the sample teams to the bars and restaurants, uh, having a bigger presence at all the sports events as well as uh, the, the uh, concerts and theater uh, presence. Walsh, who will continue as CEO, has forged new partnerships with the Pirates, the Penguins, and the Steelers. And while beer production continues in La Trobe, the headquarters on Liberty Avenue could see something old again. Thinking of putting a brew pub in downtown. A brew pub? A brew pub. In downtown Pittsburgh? Maybe here, uh, maybe somewhere else, but that's what we need to do. Put a tasting room so that the fine people of Pittsburgh can come in and enjoy once again uh, their favorite beers. Now, some of us will recall that the headquarters building on Liberty at the edge of Lawrenceville once brewed beer and had a pub. The building is not owned by Pittsburgh Brewing, although that could change with the new owner. But whether located there or somewhere else, a brew pub for Iron City and Icy Light in the city brings the iconic label back home. Reporting live, I'm John Delano.